So what I have in front of me right now are four USB-C cables and one Thunderbolt cable. They all look like USB-C cables and you could just pick them up and use them to do whatever you want. In this video, I'm going to show you that they're all different. This is Thunderbolt, but it's backward compatible with USB-C, so this will be in it. Um, but I'm going to do a data showdown with these cables. So this one and this one bought on Amazon. These are some no-name Chinese brand. This one came with my Samsung drive here. This is a Samsung T7 shield. Uh, so this came with that. This is from my MacBook Air. It came with a charger, but it should be able to transmit data. And this one I bought on Amazon again. This is a 40 gigabit per second Thunderbolt cable that I'm gonna to use to test also. So what I'm gonna be doing is using this drive to hook it up to my MacBook Air and I'm gonna um, do some speed tests using the Blackmagic Design speed test um, app and you're gonna see a difference between all of these cables. So let's get to it. So first I'm gonna start with this guy here. So this one, I bought it on Amazon a few months ago and really why I bought it, I wanted to use, this. it has a screen right here that I could use to test. So it says 100 watts right here, you can test up to 100 watts. Let me get it into focus. Um, that's the reason why I bought it. So I could have a screen to tell me how much my phone was charging or whatever device I hooked up, how much watt was, was being drawn. So I'm gonna also test the data transmission. So this is not about charging speed now, this is about data speeds. Because I mean, you're gonna buy a USB cable, USB-C cable, not just for charging, but also if you wanna transfer data from say your phone to your, to your computer or from your computer back to your phone or to whatever device you want. So they're not all created equal. So let's start with this one. And what I have here is my CalDigit T3 Plus. So I'll plug it into the back of the CalDigit T3 and then do the test from there. So I'll start with this one. So I'm gonna start with this cable right here. So I'm plugging it in. Right, so, and I'm gonna use this, the Samsung here, I'm using the Samsung right here for the testing device. I'm gonna plug it right here. On screen is my Blackmagic disk speed test. So right now I have my Samsung T7 connected to it. So I'm just gonna select it from here. Um, so I'm gonna select that. So I'm gonna start a speed test with the Samsung T7. So this is with the SoFi, I think that's the name, SoFi um, USB cable, that's from Amazon. Let's start, look at that speed. Mind you, my Samsung T7, the rate of speed from Samsung is over um, 1,050 megabytes per second. And this is only doing 41.9. So, what do you think about that? All right, so I don't even, I don't think I need to even go to read, but okay, let's do the read. And I'm just gonna stop it halfway through it because it's about the same speed. So stopping that one. So that's this SoFi right here. I'm gonna take this out. So that's, oh yeah, SoFi, SoPi from China. That's this one right here. Next, I'm gonna take this other one from Amazon again. I bought this again probably in September, because I wanted to use this. And I wanted the right angle cable here. And the SoPi, I think it was about $15. So that one is out for now. And then I'm gonna go to this one. This one about two. I think I got also got two of these. This one for two for $15. So that's the name of it, if you wanna know. And I'm going to plug that into the Tikal digit and back into my Samsung again. All right. Let's get back over to Blackmagic Design and start that test also. Just around the same speed. So right there, they're about the same speed in right. Um, I'll just wait a bit for the reading also. I'll just cut it edited for the read. So you see, they're not, they're not that fast. 
comp um, they're not as fast because Samsung says, okay, I should be getting 1,050 megabits per second out of, well, maximum 1,050 uh, megabytes per second out of this. So there's a read again, just around 40. So I'm gonna stop that, remove this one now. So, and out with that. Now, this guy here is from Apple. This came with my MacBook Air charger. So, I mean, I'm thinking, yeah, let's plug this in and test it. All right, so that one is plugged in. And I'm also gonna do that speed test from um, Blackmagic Design again. Same speed, 41.5 megabits per second. So the question is, is there something wrong with this Samsung? This we have tricked us telling that this drive, the T7 is that fast. But the thing is, nothing's wrong with my drive. I'm, I'm sure of that nothing's wrong with the drive. So let's go on to the other cables. All right, now I'm moving on to this guy here, because this is the Samsung one. This is the last one I'm gonna test. So this one is a Chinese brand, but it's a Thunderbolt 4 cable. It says it can do up to 40 gigabits per second. Well, let's see how fast it can go, but my drive is only rated for one, one, what, 1050 megabytes per second. So you know it's not gonna go nowhere near there. All right, so I'm plugging it in. Back into my T7. And then let's start Blackmagic design again. Look at the difference. 816 megabytes per second for write, 741. And I'll just run, let it run a second. I see how fast it completed the test compared to the others. Way faster, including this Apple, this Apple um, cable. You take that, oh, Apple gave you a, a cable that you probably could use and it will work. All right, so I'm gonna stop that. So. This guy here, and I'll bring it up on the screen again, 813.5 write, 738.7 read. That's, that's almost 20 times. This speed is almost 20 times what the other cables gave you, almost 20 times. All right, so let's unplug this one. So that's this one, let me come over here. And the next one is the Samsung. So this one came with this drive from Samsung. And I plug it in. Make sure I have it plugged in. And let's start the speed test also. And look at that. Even a little bit faster than the other drive. But they're about the same speed anyway from the so this one and the Samsung, they're about the same speed. And this is a Thunderbolt 4, but you know, I'm plugging into a, um, I'm plugging into a Thunderbolt port, but the drive is USB-C and Thunderbolt and USB-C are backward compatible. I'm just showing the difference between the cables. Plugging into the same port, into the same drive, and you see the difference in the cables. And one other thing I wanna do, I wanna do a data transfer, full data transfer, We'll switch to the Apple cable, back on the Samsung. And why I use the Apple? It's just that I just, just chose it as the one that I'm gonna use. So because they're all the other, the other um, with these two, these, these other two, it's the same speed. So I just chose this one. Plug into the same port. And then let's bring back up the T7 as soon as it comes back on. All right, there's a T7 file. And I'm gonna drag it. Now remember, I have the Apple cable plugged in now. And remember, Apple have other cables that cost more, so don't even come at me about it. I'm using the one that came with my MacBook Air. That's what I'm saying, just using that one. And I drag it over. Look at that. Look at the slowness of that. I'll just delete this again. I'm gonna go back to the, um, I'm just gonna use the Thunderbolt this time too, and you're gonna see how fast. It's way different. So, Apple's out again. Grabbing my Thunderbolt now. This is just showing you that the cables are not created equal. 
All right, I saw that my T7 comes up. There you go. All right, same folder, dragging it over. Just pay attention to this area here. It's just gonna come for a split second. See, it's actually done. I didn't even see it. Let me try removing it again. And drag it, tell you what. Better yet, let's get some info in this folder too. So this one is 11 gigs. I don't even, have, I'm not gonna even try it with the other cables. I'm just gonna show you how fast these cables trans, transfer data over. So this one is 11 gigs. I'm just gonna drag it over. Now you can see the speed over here. That's 11 gigs I'm trying to transfer. Look at that. 10 seconds for 11 gigs. Five seconds left. That's how fast these, these cables will transfer the data for you. So, Unless you just want to charge, I wouldn't even suggest these for charging because I mean, full are not charging at super fast speeds now and these cables don't work. These don't, they don't work that well. The other thing I wanted to show you was, let's do an, a quick inspection of these cables. So this is the Apple cable, right? You can focus inside here. Look, look at the pins. I see three, four, five pins plus the ones on the side. Right, and on the other side, is, is they're exactly the same. If I bring this one up, I should see something similar. Yeah, three, six K, um, pins inside. And it's the exact same thing on the other side. And this one here, you're gonna see something similar here. If I can get it focusing. Yeah, this one here, you can get, you see something similar. It does look like about four pins and that's it. But take a look at this, Samsung. Look at them with the pins inside there. All those lanes for data. Look at all of those pins inside there. That's a major difference and it's on both sides. Look at all of that, all those pins inside there. And let me get to the this other one. And mind you, this one I'm unplugging here also. Thunderbolt 4. I've never even heard of this company. Never. But look at the cable. Again, look at them with the pins inside here compared to the others. And a physical, what physically, you can look at them. Look at these two. The thickness of the cables on these two compared to this cable. The Apple cable. Let me let me just put the Apple cable against these. See, we got the Apple cable here. And now this other one here. Look at the size of the cables. So why get a USB cable that's only going to charge your phone when you can get a USB cable that both charges your phone and will have data, fast data on it. 